Well, many of you may remember this next story involving a little six-year-old boy. Deputies found starving and alone in the attic of a home in DeSoto. It Kansas. is hard to forget, and a lot has happened since we first covered that horrifying story. Krista DeBill joins us now with this exclusive uh, new development, and Krista and I were actually anchoring that day when this story broke on our newscast. It was August in 2010, and many of you will remember when you start to see the video we're going to show you of the breaking news that day. The house is unforgettable. The attic where he was found had exposed wood. This is it. Uh, they don't know how long he was up there, but he was emaciated, near death. No one expected him to make it through the night, and his mom was in jail and didn't tell anybody he was up there. So uh, we've been following this story, and for the last month, we caught up with this little boy and his new life and his new family. And so I wanted to share with you that there was some news this morning, some developing news today, that this little boy was officially adopted Great. with his two sisters. Uh, we were there this morning in the courtroom. That's Brandy, one of his sisters, and Angel's there too, and Jovi. And so tonight at 6 and 10, we've been working on this story to put together for you. It's going to take us two, two parts to show you because it's such a great mm -hmm. long story. But we're going to walk you through what his life was like in those days following. Um, he was in the hospital and he was wearing a 24 month t shirt. And he was nearly seven years old mm -hmm. that day. And he weighed less than 20 pounds, which was about the average weight of an eight month old baby. And he was oh. almost seven. Wow. So we have the t shirt here that he was wearing in the hospital. And again, it was huge. Huge on him, mm -hmm. and we're going to share more of the story tonight at six, and then the second half tonight at ten. Wow. Oh, Krista, we're so glad the story has the ending that you're going to bring us here tonight. You've had a chance to meet this family that's <laughs> adopted Jovi and his sisters. I mean, what must they be like to take these kids in and give them a home? You won't believe it. Uh, if we couldn't, if we didn't have the opportunity to tell you the story, you would say it's unbelievable. This family is amazing. They are warm and kind-hearted and loving. And this little boy who went from being so emaciated mm -hmm. and so near death mm -hmm. is now fat and happy. I don't know how good, else to say it. Good, you know, good, he's good. got he's meat on his bones and he's he's one of the happiest kids you'll ever meet and you'll see that yeah. tonight at six and ten. We're All really right. looking forward to that. Yeah. And the living conditions they were horrible. Inside. Horrible. Yeah. Hard to believe. Krista, thank you. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to see that report.